Hi everybody, I'm here in San Francisco because I'm actually visiting my brother Zach. Hey, how's it going? Uh, so we just wanted to say thank you so much for all the support that you've given to Obituary, all your shares, your comments, your feedback, your likes. Uh, it's hit over 500,000 views in less than a month, which is really staggering and humbling and flattering and it, it's just so amazing. So we just wanted to say thank you. And in order to celebrate, we wanted to share with you some materials that we used to bring Obituary to where it is now. One of those is a set of live action shots that we took in order to get a better sense of how the storyboard should work. And the other is a set of some of the storyboards themselves. We hope you can look at those, compare and contrast, and enjoy. Yeah, so thank you so much. Here it is. Rolling and action. that weirdo from the cemetery. I've heard about her. She's different and I don't know her and that brightens and upsets me. So much for fitting in. Think of it this way, June. You're like a celebrity. Witch! <laughs> All right, you're sniffling bagworms. Welcome to Freshman World History. History of the world. Dallas, Fort Worth, Paris. Crap Daggett! Bitch Rass, what are you doing that little piss ain't? Just showing him where his desk is, sir. That a crime? Now rip toward advanced front center right away. I will not have this haberdashery in my classroom. We're going to Counselor Van Neels. Everybody, uh, open your textbooks. Start memorizing flags. So you're that cemetery girl, huh? Uh, I guess, but my name's. I, I'm sorry. You have to excuse us for staring. It's just that nobody's ever seen you before. For the longest time, we thought you were some sort of monster made out of deer parts. <laughs> What, were you homeschooled or something? Well... It's wacky fun time, it's a ghost montage. Yes. Well, I only went to normal school. Anyways, my name is Lisa Rose, and these are my besties, Daisy and Violet. We're the flowers. <laughs> See, June, you're making friends already. Uh, is everything okay, Cemetery Girl? I, yeah, sorry, Lisa, I was just... Not Lisa. Lisa Rose. Yeah, Lisa Rose. Right. Sorry, Lisa Rose. It was a simple mistake. I'm sure you won't make it again. Now, who else you know, <laughs> I'm kind of surprised. For somebody who lives with dead bodies, you really put yourself together well. But I especially like that necklace. Oh, thanks. What do you want for it? What? Let's see. Oh, my goodness. June? Her purse is like a mini oh, department store. Sandy. Actually, it's blonde, but nice effort. Here, just why don't we trade for my lip gloss? My dad will just get me another one. I always wanted that. Shut up, Violet. Shiny. Uh, no thanks. Lisa Rose, you can put that down. Sorry. Wait, what, is that necklace some sort of sentimental gift from your dead parents? Um, that's an oddly specific description, and yes. So wait, did I understand you correctly? Are you turning down my gift? Well, it's not really a gift if you're trying to... Wow, cemetery girl. Here I am offering you friendship, something most people would kill for. What, don't you want to be popular instead of some sort of weirdo? Yeah, weirdo. I don't want to be popular or weirdo. I just want to be a normal girl going to a normal learning environment. We'll learn this, cemetery girl. Turning down this lip gloss was the biggest mistake of your life. Aww. Oh, come on now, June. High school isn't that bad. Sandy, this day has been horrible. Everyone's so judgmental. How am I supposed to make any friends? Well, you certainly won't make any with that attitude. Let's just go. Before you go, can you open this locker? Hey, thanks. I would have asked earlier, but you sounded busy. Oh, what wonderful manners he has. Oh, hey, you're June! Man, you were pretty brave in history class today, but also kind of dumb considering that Lisa Rose is the richest girl in Ludbro County, but still pretty brave. I'm Blatsy, by the way. Uh, hey, Blatsy. Uh, I was just headed home, though, so... Uh, home! So... Oh, me too! We can totally walk together! Come on, June, catch up! Yeah, come on, June, let's go! I wish Mr. Rabble didn't have to die. June, everyone dies eventually. Will you and Mom die? Well, yes, honey, we will, but that won't be for a long, long... Hurry up, June! You don't want to be late for your first day of high school! Just a moment, Sandy. Be right there. Do you think I should wear my beanie? I think it looks swell on you. 
Hmm. June, you're overthinking this. Instead, just think of all those people waiting to be your friends. I just hope nobody thinks I'm weird. Now, why would anyone think that? Really? Oh, June, don't be such a worrisome Wendy. It's just molasses. school. Oh, morning, June. Good morning, June. Morning, Mr. Catfield. Morning, Dimitri. Everyone here loves you. And you want to know why? You're the sharpest living person any of us know. I'm the only living person. June, I can't believe you're headed off to school already. And not just any school. The school named after me. General Trulish Gramplin. We must commemorate this moment with a photograph. Gather around, everyone! Yeah. Gather around! This really isn't a big deal, guys. No sense! It's like you're coming out as a lady. Everybody smile! Are you guys gonna be okay without me? Of course, oh, June! Yeah, yeah, I don't think any about us. Don't worry about, about us, June. Now get out there and make some friends! <laughs> <laughs> Is that weirdo from the cemetery? Oh, I've heard about her. She's different and I don't know her. That frightens and upsets me. This is going well. Witch! Three, four, five. Oh, yay! Free parking! What is point of such game? We can try something else. Oh, it's no use. What else can we do that doesn't involve June? Oh, I bet June would know. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go ask June. <coughs> All right, you sniveling bagworms. Welcome to freshman world history. History of the world. Karma, <laughs> shawarma, and the Dalai Lama. <laughs> now grab that at Vince Rasp. What are you doing to that piss ant? Just showing him where the desk is, sir. Is that a crime? Now rip torn it, Vince. Don't give me none of that back-talking guff. We're taking a march to Counselor Steinstein's office right now, young man. <laughs> Everybody else, take out your books and start memorizing flags. So you're the cemetery girl, huh? Oh, um... Yeah, I guess, but actually, my name is You June. have to forgive everyone for staring. Nobody's ever seen you before. For the longest time, people were saying you were some sort of monster made out of deer parts. <laughs> were you homeschooled or something? Well... And those godless Iroquois warriors thought that King Philip would protect them! With steam, you can harness unimaginable power to even travel upriver! And I like to leave it with some jaggedy edges, you see, to really cut some deep. Yes. Well, I only ever went to normal school. Anyway, I'm Lisa Rose, and these are my besties, Daisy and Violet. We're the flowers! Oh, there she is! Huh? I found June, everyone, and she's already made a few friends! What? A few friends? That's good for business. <gasps> what sort of ghastly things are they wearing? <gasps> these are leaders of US of A. Ha! <gasps> that statue of me out front is spectacular! Could use a spit shine, though. Is everything okay, Cemetery Girl? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, Lisa. I just... Not Lisa. Lisa Rose. Yeah, Lisa Rose. Sorry, Lisa Rose. It was a simple mistake. I'm sure you won't make it again. You know, I'm a bit surprised. For someone who lives with corpses, you put yourself together pretty well. <laughs> oh, I especially like your necklace. Oh, thanks. What do you want for it? What? Let's see. No. Oh, no, my no, goodness, no, June. Her purse no, is like a tiny department no, store. No. Sandy. Um, actually, it's blonde, but good effort. Here, we'll trade for my lip gloss. My daddy will just buy me a new one. I've always wanted that lip gloss. Shut up, Violet. Ooh, glitter! Ah, this stuff must sell faster than radium water. Uh, no thanks, Lisa Rose. You can put that down. I'm sorry. I don't know if I heard you correctly. You're rejecting my gift? Well, it's not really a gift if you what? want. Is that some sort of overly sentimental necklace from your dead parents? Um, that's an oddly specific description. And yes. <laughs> wow, cemetery girl. <laughs> I came to you offering friendship. Most would kill for that. Don't you want to be popular and send us some sort of weirdo? Yeah, weirdo. Oh, those are fighting words. June, get your pistol. I don't want to be popular or weird. I just want to be a normal student going to school to learn. Well, learn this, cemetery girl. Turning down this lip gloss was the biggest mistake of your life. <laughs> well, at least she didn't say she hated your beanie. Witch! 
Well, there go my chances of fitting in. Oh, don't be such a downtrodden Debbie! Come on, June, buck up, weather the storm! <sighs> well, better luck tomorrow. I don't want to try again tomorrow, Gramplin. This whole day has been horrible. Everyone's so judgmental, and it certainly didn't help that you all kept distracting me in class. Everyone must have thought I was crazy whenever I tried to say anything to one of you. But June, no one can hear you when you talk to a ghost unless you want them to. Oh, wait, I got that one backwards again. I had one shot at being normal, and I blew it. No. I suppose we blew it. Let's just go. Before you go, can you open this locker? Whoa! Hey, thanks. I would have asked earlier, but you sounded busy. Oh, what wonderful manners he has. Oh, hey, you're June. Man, you were pretty brave in history class. Kind of dumb, considering that Lisa Rose is the richest girl in Ludborough County. But still, pretty brave. I'm Blatsy, by the way. Uh, uh hey, Blatsy. Look, I was just headed home, so I... Home? Oh, wow, me too. We could totally walk together. Come on, June, catch up. <laughs> Wow, so you really live at a mortuary. Yeah, I can't exactly blame people for thinking I'm weird. Well, of course you're weird, but that's what makes you cool. I mean, we're all a little weird, like I have a gland problem. And I've been 15 since 1959. So it's normal to be weird then. Yeah, how strange is that, right? Well, it was nice talking to you, June. See you tomorrow! Blatsy, wait. Would you like to meet my family? Absolutely! Everyone, I want you to meet Blatsy. You can reveal yourselves to him. He's a friend. Hiya, Blatsy! Hey, so hey, hey, trendy metal hey, teeth hey. you got there. Uh, Blatsy? Looks like he just saw a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> we say that all the time, but somehow it's still hilarious in this instance. Blatsy, are you okay? This is so cool. It's a friendship party! Let us commemorate this friendship victory with a photograph! So, it seems like the cemetery girl has made a friend. But if she thinks that will help her get through high school, well, we'll be sure to be the flowers on her grave. <laughs> Shut up, Violet.